hello guys and welcome to another premiere pro tutorial in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to create five easy transitions for music videos in premiere pro so as you can see over here i've brought in five clips onto my timeline over here that i would like to apply these transitions to so to begin the first transition i'm going to come in between my first and second clips over here now the next thing i'm going to do is to move five frames to the right and five frames to the left and make cuts on every frame Now I'm going to select my selection tool over here. Now I'm going to move over to Lumetri color over here and select this first cut over here. And what I'm going to do is to increase the exposure to the extreme end. Now select this first cut over here, right click and hit copy. And I'm going to select all the other cuts in between by holding shift and selecting them. Now right click and hit paste attributes to, to paste the Lumetri color. And if we zoom out now and hit play from the beginning, you can see that large light transition that we have created over there. Now for the next transition, we move in between these two clips over here. Let me zoom in so you can see it clearer. Now you go back three frames and make a cut, select your razor tool and make a cut. And move forward three frames and make another cut over here. Select your both clips over here, right click and hit on nest to nest them. Now move over to your video effects and under your video effect you search for the lens distortion effect. And drag this lens distortion effect onto the nested clip over here. Now move over to the first control panel and scroll down to the lens distortion effect. And select the stopwatch right next to coverage over here and move it to the left. And select it once more by hitting this diamond icon here to create another keyframe and move this to the extreme right. And at the middle here, you set the keyframe to minus 77. And if we go back a few frames backward and hit play, you can see the transition effect that we have created over here. For the next transition, we move in between these two clips over here. And we need to create a new adjustment layer. So we'll come over here, select this new item over here and select adjustment layer. Hit OK and drag this adjustment layer onto the top of these clips over here. Now the next thing I'm going to do is to count 3 frames to the right and make a cut at this position and delete this. I move 3 frames backward and reduce this also. Now move back to your video effects over here and search for the transform effect and drag the transform effect onto your adjustment layer and move over to your effects control over here and next thing you need to do is to deselect use composition shutter and increase your shutter angle to about 150 or more or deselect your use composition shutter and move over to scale under your transform effects and move over to the middle of this adjustment layer or the middle of these two clips over here and at this point, you set your scale to 175. You can make it as high as 300. Toggle animation right next to scale. I'll move to the beginning and hit this reset button over here so that it can go back to 100 at the beginning. And I'll move over to the end and reset it once more to return it back to zero. And if I go back to the beginning and hit play, you can see that transition that we have created over there. Let me move back once more. You can see that transition that we have created over there. And for the last transition, you come in between these two clips over here. And what we are going to do is we are going to be bringing in a CRT overlay. So I'm going to select my overlay over here. I've already selected my ins and outs and drag it over here. I'm going to select my overlay over here. And under my first control panel over here, I'm going to deselect uniform scale and adjust the width to fit the frame of my monitor over here drag it to the middle of this clip over here now select my overlay and move over to my effects control panel and change the blend mode under opacity to linear dodge and that's it guys on how to create these four really easy and quick music video transitions in premiere pro i hope you found this tutorial very useful if you did kindly give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and don't forget to drop your feedbacks in the comment section Thank you guys and see you in my next video tomorrow.